the church is imploding and the faithful masses have stopped turning up on Sundays and we are seeing the most rapid decline of Christianity in this country that we may have ever seen. Do not accelerate it with heresy. You do not have the authority to bless sin. When I hear the Bishop of London on record saying these new prayers will mean priests can bless same-sex relationships, some of which may be sexual in nature, I hear the devil at work. Bishops are promoting the idea of sacramental sodomy. Let them be anathema. Repent. Robinson is absolutely right to call out the bishops within his church blessing the LGBTQ movement. These leaders need to repent of leading church members down the path of destruction. And to the rest of you, I have no doubt that some of you will consider me a bigot or a transphobe or a homophobe, but I am neither of those things, none of those things. I am simply a follower of Christ, a Christian. And we are naturally countercultural. And if so called liberals were truly diverse and tolerant, they would embrace us just as they embrace everyone else. And the, not right now, I'm just wrapping up. And the point has been made, but the growing Christophobic attitude around this public debate and the ugly level of, of hypocrisy is that we really see people hold Muslims and people of other faiths to the same expectations that they hold Christians to. Who is calling, except my good friend here, for Islam to embrace gay marriage? Who is calling for the Quran to be updated to modern societal norms? It is the same patronizing attitude of people of other, that treat other faiths, patronize other faiths while being intolerant towards Christians at the same time. It's a shame, but in the words of St. Athanasius of Alexandria, if the world is against the truth, then I am against the world. Thank you very much. Robin